Hi, yeah, Francesca here from Peluca Salon, and I'm continuing my reviews for today. Um, that focus on the wigs that I have in stock, that I have tried on and taken off again straight away because I've not liked them for some reason, they've not felt right. Um, so I'm giving these wigs um, a little bit more time and to explore what it is about them that made me want to take them off. Um, and they are popular styles um, uh, in a range of brands. So today I am looking at Noriko's um, Zion in the colour Illumina R and that's from the René of Paris collection. So she's a synthetic bob. It's, it's quite a, uh, what I would describe as a kind of razor cut, really kind of um, edgy uh, cut towards the back. So she's quite a blunt, a razored ends there. Um, this colour Illumina R is a rooted colour and it is a, a pure white, I would say, um, throughout, apart from at the root, where you have a very dark root. Now, I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but I need to explain that this is a very aubergine or plummy however you want to describe it so it has that tone i hope that that picks it up because it's quite important really because if your complexion really some people don't like that kind of plummier tone but actually it's a really nice color so it's very dark roots about kind of a one to two centimeter so it's not a long rooted it's just at the r color a rooted color really beautiful kind of pure white yeah so if you compare it this is um my john renault um cameron in flurry that's got all those kind of purpley violet tones this is a very pure white now um this is from the noriko collection so we we have a fair what i describe as a fairly basic cap it's got quite a lot of structure to it it doesn't feel um What's the word I'm looking for? Well, it, it feels pretty well made. Um, but we have, what we have here is a lace part. Yeah, and it is a center part. And that's really important. So those of you who, like myself, wear the part in, in a, a side part and I wear left, that's one of the reasons I found this difficult when I popped it on to begin with. But do note that even though it's centre, the centre bit doesn't start till a couple of kind of inches towards the front. So you do have some play here. But it is centre, lace, part, machine made either side. And then it goes into that wefted cap. Yeah, wefted all the way around. And we have that velvet nape there with the... Um, they're not velcro adjusters, they have that kind of elastic pulley clasp, which I actually prefer. Um, that's quite a nice um, uh, depth to that nape. I'm not a huge fan of the very slim profiles. I feel like it feels like a piece of elastic and it's not that comfortable, so that's something to look out for. What, what is nice here, we have the um, ear tabs with the metal stays here. But we have a little bit of what we call under ventilation, I suppose you might want to call it. But it, the, the hair is stitched also under, yeah, so that it gives you that illusion. It kind of disguises a bit of that wig edge there. So that's a nice touch. Now, same here. There's some under knotting or ventilation there, whatever you want to say. The hair is stitched inside of the cap as well. So it just helps just to give you that teeny little bit of extra... Um, kind of design feature so that it can look as natural as as it can um so okay so like i said i'm going to go and put this on and hopefully i can um kind of show it off in its best light because it is a really lovely style i know it's a really popular style yeah and lovely length and i'm kind of enjoying the bobs at the minute so there we go okay give me a minute i'll be back hi yeah well i'm back and here she is um Oh, I'm super excited because um, when I tried her on before, I did try her in that centre parting and I, I struggle with a centre parting personally. Uh, but as I showed you, we have, I mean, I'm on the edge. Let's just be really clear about that. 
I've got the, I've got the parting still to centre, so it's still honouring that centre because I can feel the edge there and there. And then I've just come into an ever so slightly left side part because that lace, if you remember when we looked at the inside, did actually go, it was quite deep, so that's really lovely. So I was able to go centre and swoop into that left and the edge is there. Literally, as soon as I could swoop into that left, I did. So actually, that solves a problem for me now, uh, knowing that, you know, with the Noriko range, when they're sent with their centre partings, there is room to move that in that front portion. If you are used to a left hand or even right hand parts, which it gives you that option because you can go the other way. So I think when you're looking and you see centre part with this one, with the Noriko caps, you can fashion um, a left or right hand part within that scope. So that's really, really, really lovely. I didn't show you the card before, but just uh, to remind you, it is a Zion in Illumina R. I hope that picks that up. Let's move that out of the way. Woo. Right, so as I said, she's a kind of razor, razor ended. That was the word I think I was looking for. Uh, bob, nice length, ever so slightly asymmetrical, that darker root and that white. So this is one of their kind of fashion colours, Illumina R, but it does come in all of the kind of more natural colours, the browns, the blondes, yeah, etc. Um, and the pinks and the blues, I think. <laughs> so this is, you know, this is a pleasant kind of surprise now. Um, obviously, it's, it's fairly out of the box, so it's going to swoop in front of my face. But, oh, I'm making a real deal here, aren't I? It does... There's a lot of flyaways here which I have to deal with um, and possibly some caught under. But remember when I talked about that under ventilation or that the, the hairs underneath? There's no lace here, but at least if the hairs are coming out from underneath, there is that kind of extra bit to kind of hide that wig edge, which is a nice touch um, there. Same on that side. Now, I have put a tiny piece of con tiny bit of piece out contour cream, the John Renault cream on there. I want to show you, I've got some here. Just gonna put a teeny bit, so just a tiny bit there. I'm gonna rub it, because actually this is, this cut, there's not a lot of density, so you can really, you see how much that can give you to break up if it's too straight, or that razor edge is feeling too straight, you want a bit of movement, you might even want to chop into it a little bit to take that out if, if you're not really feeling how smooth you can get, can you see? You can get it to feel a lot more um, texture. And it can bend it. It's very good at creating uh, different kind of shapes within the cup. Okay, so I, I really like that. And it also helps to push that up and out the way. We talked about, um, in other reviews, I've talked about training the hair away from your face. So it can all do that. It's quite, um, the, the, the fibre is nice. Um, you know, with short hair, it's, 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 and it's straight, so it feels quite soft. It's quite shiny. I think the colour also kind of brings that shine a bit more out. So I would put some um, dry shampoo um, just to take the edge off that shine. Because sometimes with synthetic hair, when it's shiny, that can be a little bit of a telltale uh, that you're wearing a wig. If, and if you don't really want to draw attention to it, that's another little trick to do that. This hairline's pretty nice. The lace isn't too deep. Um, I would pluck as I always do. Uh, but I think it's a really nice piece. I think it's, for me, the, the cap is too big. Um, so I couldn't wear it for too long. And, and it's not that it's big that's causing me a problem. I've pulled it in as far as I can. It's still got some bagginess there, but it's wefted quite easy to take that in. The issue I have is this is an example of a wig that's far too big for me here. That comes down almost like halfway down my ear, which means that actually, <laughs> let me show you, in order to pull it down, it would have to go over my ear. So the wig cap is actually that, it's too big. So I'm pushing that over my ear and then of course it's going to cut in 
over time. So that's a bit too big for me, so I won't be able to wear it long. Wear it for long. Can you, can you see it's quite? Ooh, I would wear. I would have to take that down because even those metal stays, even if I bend them round, it's it's still it's still too big for me. And I have said um, that I am a petite, but I am not the smallest petite, so I am just bordering that. So I would say it runs a bit larger, um, and I find that with the wefted caps and the, the high fashion collection and the Noriko collection, the wefted caps, I find they run a little bit bigger. Uh, the Amore collection um, tend to fit me really well. So it varies within brands as well. So it's really about kind of getting to know um, each brand and trying them on. I think what's kind of good about having the opportunity to visit a salon um, is that you are able to obviously have your head measured, um, try on lots of styles and see the caps, um, and, and try on styles and have the opportunity to play with them, to um, change the part and put a bit of product in them. Because obviously if you're buying online, um, you have to be very careful with what you do to them if, if you want to return them. So if you have something local to visit, I would always recommend that you do that so that you can get a sense of it. Because as I've demonstrated, especially if you're new to wig wearing, you put something on your head out of the box and it's so daunting. And if you hate what you see straight away, even me after five years, if I hate what I see straight away, I, I either put it away and, and send it back or say, oh, well, I don't like it. And um, obviously now, um, that I'm in the wig business, I know that I can take it out again, try again, see, let's see how lovely this is now. I mean, I tried it on twice before and I showed Matthew and it had the centre part and we both just went and, and And I had high hopes for Zion because Zion is a very popular style, it comes in really great colours, um, it's got a really good price point, it's really fun. And now I'm here, I've played, I've allowed myself to put some product in it and really give it a good chance. So if you're able to visit a salon, you're able to do that and really test it out. But like I say, she runs a bit big for me, may not for you, but just know that where it runs big is problematic for me over those years. So that's going to cut, cut in if I wear it too long. I own wigs that are this far down that I've chosen to keep and buy because I love them. But I know that I can't go to and do a full uh, eight hour work shift or 12 hour, whatever <laughs> length. I can't do that in certain wigs because I know they're gonna hurt. Um, but this is a few hours out in the evening, not gonna bother me. Yep, put it away again for another day. But this sits nicely, you know, where the, where the hair's got that under ventilation there where the hairs are sewn in underneath. It, it's nice, you've got a nice, Profile, it's not it's not um, too dense, it's quite lightweight. Um, but you know, it's quite thick to tuck behind there, but I can, so it's, in, it's fine for me, but it's really pretty. Um, and these whiter colors are really lovely with that dark root. So that's Zion, and I think she's a really nice choice. Okay, I think that's enough of my babbling today. I'm in a babbly mood. Do you know what? I actually nearly forgot, I said I was babbling, to give you the links, didn't I? So, let's do that. I'm losing my, uh, my mojo at the minute. Fringe, 8.26, this is in inches. I love the preciseness of these. The crown, there's a wonderful nine, you see, 9.05. And the nape is 3.93 inches. Okay. All right. Now I'm really going. Bye.